Welcome everyone. Uh, I, am, I am Alan Briones from La Salle Ramon Llull University. I'm also the Attica project coordinator. And well, I'm going to put a little bit focus on, on what we have been doing these last uh, years in the project and why we are here and why you are here. No? So the first thing is the, the name of the, the, of the project, which is Advanced Training in Health Innovation Knowledge Alliance. At the end, what motivates us to to work on this is that we have a, a very lack of technology experts and engineers, or, or, and engineers with the uh, ethical implications. All of you have seen in the in the fundamentals unit that uh, we had uh, some things that to take into account when we are talking about technology, which is uh, very important to take in, into account when we talk about healthcare. Also, in the other side, we have healthcare uh, center uh, manager reluctant to to have this uh, technology being able or being part of their uh, daily lives uh, and all of these uh, uh, evolutions that implies the, the, the way of applying the technology. So we have two different uh, profiles willing to provide uh, the, the best for the society. And the, the, the thing is how we can uh, provide, uh, how we can close the gap, no? That's why, uh, as the engineering education is very focused on the technology and how to apply this technology, we have to think also about the final purpose and the meaning, why we are doing this. So let's, uh, the, the, the final objective is we have nice experts uh, in healthcare, we have nice experts in, in engineering, we have nice experts in, in scientifics. So, how we can engage them and try to uh, be uh, all together part of the solution. That's why we came with this, uh, with this objective. We wanted to create a, 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 this innovative approach and training sub, uh, um, for training and support in order to at least uh, gather all together the different uh, profiles that are taking part and are part of this uh, e-health. So, when we talk about the health, we are also talking about humans, we are talking about persons, we are talking about re, re, uh, important data to take into account. And that's why we need to think, okay, the humanistic part is also important. By boosting this collaboration among academia, public administration, SMEs, startups, industry, all together we are, can provide different solutions. And that's why we want to cultivate this and. That's why you are here, because at the end, what we have proposed is an, a technological advanced training in order to provide different concepts about technology. Some of you are experts in one of these technologies, but maybe you are not an expert of everything. So now with this course, we have, have provided you some interesting or at least some new brand technologies, new brand concepts that are uh, used in different uh, disciplines also applying this uh, layer of humanistic uh, point of view, which is also important to think that it's not about one data, it's about the person and what is implying here, no? So thanks to this course that we have uh, built between all these partners, as you know, we are uh, La Salle Ramon University from Spain, University of Tartu in Estonia, and uh, University of West Scotland in the UK, these three universities have built the, the, the course, but not without the, the, the help from Fundacetic Salud Social from Spain, Technopolis Group in Estonia, Counter Science and Technology Park in Lithuania, Multicriteria Emprit in Spain, Pharmatics in the UK, and Technosense Evolution in France. All of us, we have been working on this uh, course with the main objective of closing this gap between the different profiles in order to approach these uh, disciplines to the different profiles and all together uh, propose uh, real use cases with real examples also in the explanations in the video pills with the final objective of providing you a full 360 degrees more or less perspective of the world of the e-health and the different solutions that are, are uh, possible to provide. Also, what we wanted in this uh, course that we have presented uh, and we have started in February, yes, it seems like one year ago that we have started this, uh, this course, but it was only two months and a half. Sorry, but the time goes by so fast. Uh, three, well, three months, no? We are in May. 
the thing is, uh, which was the main objective? It helped knowledge. Some of you, you, you were uh, technological experts, but not uh, with a lot of knowledge about this e-health and the implications. Also, proposing uh, solutions to e-health challenge. You have proposed interesting challenges in the first unit, in this, and, in, and you solve them in the second one with the with the fundamentals. Also, you work with different people from different parts of the world, from different profiles. So uh, you work in, in, in interdisciplinary groups with the objective of uh, providing innovative and creative solutions. The units, you know the units, of course, e-health, fundamentals about IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and also governance and ethics. And after that, you have chosen dictionary. We are in the specific workshop, and finally, we have the competition that we will talk in the following slides. The different units uh, and the different contents is here. If you want to access the platform, you know which is the platform. This is for uh, the record in the future. If someone wants to see this presentation, they have a grab up of what is this uh, course and the different units. And now let me talk a little bit about the workshop competition and mobility. First of all, this workshop is a two days workshop, okay? from uh, 7 to 10 CAT or 6 to 9 uh, British summer time. The thing is, at the end of the second day, so tomorrow, you will have to provide one solution for one specific challenge that I'm going to present in the following slide. The thing is, this is to pass the workshop. If you want to pass the workshop, you have to provide this solution tomorrow. You, are, you have the, all the contents in the in the platform, so it's available for you. And after that, we will open the competition because you will have until the 23 May to provide a solution for one of the two challenges, because we have provided two different ways of uh, of competing. Okay, so at, at the end of this uh, second day, you will be able to finish and close the, the course. And if you are willing to compete for the mobility, you will have to solve the final challenge that we are going to uh, show in the, in the following slides. Which is the objective of this competition, of this uh, way of uh, competing? Because uh, the reward is two weeks of mobility in July, 2021, in one of the companies of the Attica project. The, I have to say that uh, now we have more information about these companies and the options are, uh, Technosense Evolution in Grenoble, France, and also MCRIT, Multigraitiria in Spain, where they have the office in Barcelona. So the two options for the winners are two are going to uh, Grenoble and two are going to Barcelona. The thing is, if you win the competition, we, you, you are going to be rewarded with a plane ticket and also uh, uh, like a I don't remember the name, but uh, it's uh, a payment of uh, it's around 70, 700 uh, euros, more or less, for subsistence for these two weeks. That's the that's the that's the the price, okay? That's the reward that we are going to give to the winners. The possibility of going to these uh, companies during two weeks uh, in July, the first two weeks of July, from the fifth to eighteen, okay? And the objective is working with the other students from the other workshops, okay, because the winners are going to be there, okay, and you are going to work all together in the same company in a real use case that they are going to propose you, okay, and we will communicate uh, you which is this real use case as soon as we know the winners, okay, because this is only for, for the winners of the mobility. Said so that, which is the, the, the point uh, for this uh, competition? First of all, you have to pass the workshop, and the workshop is uh, to develop uh, and propose, uh, explore potential artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, applications in fight against COVID-19, okay? This is your uh, first uh, commitment, and if you deliver this, it's a pass or fail grade, okay? You are not going to have a grade, it's only about, I have been in the workshop, I have been working with my group, and with this, I finish Finally, yes, finally, the, the course, which is uh, good. After that, we are going to open the second final challenge, which is come up with a solution based on data-driven machine learning approaches to solve a specific problem related to COVID-19, or 
you can develop a convolutional neural network model to detect the presence of COVID-19 in X-ray images. Both uh, challenges are uploaded to the platform and you can check it. But as uh, I like to say, first thing first, we are going to solve this first uh, workshop challenge. And after that, we will open the competition Okay, with uh, these uh, two challenges. You have to choose which one do you want to solve. And by the way, what we are going to do at the end is uh, the tribunal, the partners that you, I have listed at the beginning, we will decide who are the winners, okay? We are not going to put your rate. We are going to decide which is the best uh, performance, okay? Which is the best, uh, the best group, okay? So the groups, groups of four, okay? My recommendation, our recommendation is build your groups, okay? Thinking about if you want to win the competition and go on this mobility or not, okay? That's my, our main recommendation. If you don't want to win and you want to go only to the first challenge and with this you finish the course, it's okay. It's totally fair and we are okay with this. If you want to win, you need a team that wants to finish first of all the course with this uh, first exercise of uh, explore potential of artificial machine learning in fight against COVID-19. And after that, they are willing to go with the final challenge, which is the specific solution for data-driven machine learning or the uh, neural network model, okay? This is the information that uh, it's already uploaded to the platform, okay? In the section of uh, artificial and machine learning workshop, okay? There you can find all of the stuff uh, necessary to, to work. And well, from our side, I think that's all. Uh, 